Jackson County, in conjunction with the design build team, J.E. Dunn, Axiom DLR Group, officially welcomes you to the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Jackson County Detention Center. Uh, it says, as many of you know, discussion began several years ago about the potential for a new detention center. And during that time, it has always been my priority that the facility is not only safe and secure, but it is also supports an equitable criminal justice system. The design and build of this facility will be rooted in addressing disparity, discrimination, and mental health and behavioral health services. We want to lay a foundation that provides detainees the tools they need to reduce recidivism and be productive members of our society. I think when we all sat down, we, we decided that we're going to do what's in the best interest of our community. And today is bigger than just groundbreaking or uh, uh, building a building. It's, it's an opportunity to change lives, an opportunity to bring people into our system, uh, whether they want to be in our system or not. Uh, because uh, we have the care, custody, and control of them, now we can give them something that's evidence-based, the therapy and the training. So th that's what I'm excited about, because, again, this is something that can change lives. It's bigger than just a groundbreaking and build a building. It's, it's building better lives that will reduce crime in our neighborhood. So I want to say thank you all, and thank you for the support. And today's the, the first sign for many that we're making progress, because they've heard about what we're doing, but they haven't been able to see. But now you have a visual. So I just want to thank everybody that's involved in this. Just thank you so much. There has been in the history of this area more closings than there has been the opportunity for development. Montgomery Wards is gone. Sears is gone. The Chevrolet plant is gone. The jobs associated with those businesses are gone. But we're on the rebound. The people here are still very interested and involved. And I'm proud, and I've always been proud to have their confidence. And I'm glad that we have the confidence of the other members of the legislature, the business community, and the county government in trying to see a positive change occur. Because that's the point of public service, to work for positive change. I want to start off by thanking Jackson County Detention Center Selection Committee for choosing our team. It was a rigorous and competitive process, and we feel that our team will put forward 110% of effort every day to build this new facility for the county. We were chosen because of our vast experience, not, oh, not only with the construction, but the design of DLR Group. We've successfully completed 20 justice projects in this sector. We are keenly aware of the needs for the detention center, including behavioral health, environmental, and social um, betterment. Our team will emphasize healing, equality, and transformation for individuals. Our team understands that this new facility will not only provide a better built environment for the detainees, staff, visitors, and stakeholders, but for the surrounding communities as well. This day provides a milestone of new beginnings for the community. Over the next 30 plus months, we will design, construct, and build a facility that will serve Jackson County and the community. The tagline, Justice with Dignity will be part of the project's purpose statement, meaning that each one of our team members, designers, and trade partners will internalize this meaning and why we're building this new facility. The building will be built with the maintenance and operations staff in mind, keeping them safe and building an efficient, an efficient facility for years to come. It is our responsibility to ensure this project is executed on time and on budget. Six years ago, Axiom was formed my partner, a civil engineer from Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm going to say right now, I apologize for your football season. <laughs> but we founded Axiom on three fundamental principles. We will work in excellence as God requires. We would do what we say we're going to do. And most importantly for us, we would love along the way. Today we are honored to be here as a joint venture partner with the firm that truly puts its mission where its heart is. Over the last four years, Axiom has had the privilege of being a mentee of J.E. Dunn's, tapping into 100 years of wisdom, learning, growing, and transforming into a firm that stands before you today. 
JCDC began our work on this project about two and a half years ago. Um, the project began early stages and our team began exploring options with the county. And at that time, a steering committee was formed. And I know Marshanna touched base a little bit on the steering committee, but I wanted to recognize each of the steering committee members. They've put in a lot of work and a lot of effort. So County Executive Frank White, Sheriff Dara Forte, Jean Peters Baker, who unfortunately is not with us today, but Jennifer Dameron's here in her place, uh, Presiding Judge Dale Youngs, and representing the legislature, Vice Chair Teresa Galvin. We want to thank these five individuals for all their time, talent, and direction they have given our team along the way. As the chief advocates of this project, they have been vitally important to the mission and vision for the project that will be built to serve our community. The very tagline this committee developed, Justice with Dignity, which you've heard a number of times today, has been our guiding principle at every phase of the project. Together with the County Administrator Troy Schulte and our Public Works Director Brian Gaddy, the team, the steering committee, and the legislature have all provided thoughtful solutions to planning, building, and operating a new detention center in a cost-effective and meaningful manner. Uh, you know, I'm so, so pleased that the county executive and the Jackson County Legislature uh, had the vision to do this. And the reason, when I was mayor, uh, we had the municipal farm, uh, Leeds as it was called, and it was awful. Uh, absolutely awful. Uh, and that's why I think this is such a significant project, not just for the construction, not just for the fact that uh, a lot of uh, uh, economic development is, 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 is going to take place. Uh, but I, I read somewhere that if you do good only to the good, then good has been perverted. And that the only time good really matters is when you do good to those who don't deserve it. And that's exactly what is taking place here. I, I like the, to, to put those terms together as, as the, the county has done. Um, you know, I think justice is, is always a, a, a part of, or should be, uh, of anything uh, that we, we do. And so uh, let me congratulate uh, the, the county uh, for this significant project. Uh, let me also con congratulate you on the fact that uh, people who get arrested, and, and they are some, sometimes some really bad humans, uh, but even really bad humans deserve justice. Thank you. As county executive, I am committed to building a better, more equitable Jackson County, and this tr transformative project will help us achieve that goal. I look forward to working side by side with all of you to ensure this is a and successful project and give detainees, staff, and community what they need and what they deserve, which is justice with dignity. Thank you.